Andrew Barker with True Track. Some great news was announced this week about a new way to get some safety equipment into some legacy aircraft. Tell us what you got going on. Uh, we've got some really exciting news. We've been working really closely with EAA, obviously. We've got uh, STCs that hit last week for the install kit. So just the first step in the autopilot installation. So we got 172s and 177s that we've got on the STC for the install kit, or actually our friends at EAA do. And then yesterday we got our PMA for TrueTrack. So now we are approved to produce those install kits. One more big step to go is the full system approval, and we're working really closely with EAA and FAA on that. We're really excited about what's coming this summer. So which autopilot is it that all this is for? I will be doing our Vision Autopilot. So it's kind of the, the meat and potatoes that everyone's used to. It's been our most popular product for years. And so we're taking that product line. We've got a couple of new things we're going to sneak in there that will be exciting, I think. But we'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. But it'll be the Vision. So you've got track select, altitude select, altitude hold. You've got emergency level. Really cool features. A great system for a great price. What was it like working through the STC and then the PMA process? Actually, honestly, it's been really, really great. We've worked, again, really closely with EAA, and they've been the, the most awesome partner in this project. They've really helped us work closely with FAA as well. We're kind of the guy behind the scenes on it, uh, but we've been working really closely with the FAA on the PMA side. So the PMA side is the, kind of the, the part that's really exciting to me because that's a, a brand new step to have a, a risk-based PMA system. So it's not a one-size-fits-all. The STC is really exciting as well, obviously, so that's done under PMA as well. So now TrueTrack has our PMA, and EAA owns that STC. So we are working as a team through, and the FAEAA, everybody, you've got AOPA, you've got all sorts of groups that are really fighting to make this all a reality, and it's really cool to have FAA buy-in on all of that. I love it. So you've got two types under your belt. I'm sure you're planning to have that expand out to additional types of aircraft. Absolutely. We've got a list on our website, truetrackap.com. You click on the link and you can sign up, get information on as we're progressing through it, put your aircraft on the list. PA-28s are big time on the list. We've got lots of Moonies, lots of 182s. It's amazing. We've got over 450 people on that list as of today. Um, and it's growing by 20 to 30 people per day right now. I'm sure after Sun and Fun it's going to even grow more than that. But the interest is just amazing from this certified market for people that want an affordable autopilot that can give them some really cool safety features. What is the significance of being able to have these types of instruments allowed to be installed in certified aircraft? The safety advantage, number one, is just absolutely awesome. You take a VFR pilot, which a large percentage of the population might be, right? And you give them the ability to relax a little bit on that cross-country flight. They're fresher, they're more ready for the end game. They, maybe they've got some crosswinds, maybe they've got some thunderstorms, some stuff they've got to deal with. At the end, they arrive fresher, plus you add in some of those safety features, like that emergency level button. You find yourself in trouble, push the button, Autopilot comes on, helps you out, keeps you safe. I know you, you'll have more for us at Oshkosh. Anything you care to tease? Um, oh, the things we want to tease. Actually, I would um, tease with saying we're definitely going to be having some more, some, some more stuff on the safety side. There's Right now, there's a little bit of question about how much integration with existing avionic systems that we're going to be able to do on this initial and we're working on that. We don't yet know where that's going to end up, but the biggest, coolest thing we're excited about, I can't quite say just yet, but <laughs> it's on the safety side, and it's going to be a really, really great safety feature that's really going to help with that loss of control issue that's the hot-button topic right now. How did the administrator react to that hat when you met with him last year at Oshkosh? You know, it's, it's branding the administrator. Everybody just loves the hat, and I love the hat. This is actually the replacement for the original <laughs> hat. It's going to stay. It's, it's just, you know, it's me. It's what it is. Great, Andrew. Well, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us, and good luck with your project. All right, great. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... Progressive Aerodyne C-Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. 
Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.